what's that out there? And it's a ball of burning. <laughs> Look at that flame. thing. <laughs> it's glorious. <laughs> Cycling and gravel grinding and mountain biking too. This is the Peak Town Weekend, the Weekend Review. So welcome to this week's Weekend Review. This week we headed down south on 81 to Swatera State Park for one of our annual trips we usually do down there to coincide with when Trogues releases Nugget Nectar. So it's usually January, February. Seems like every year it gets a little earlier. So this year, um, it's the mid-January and we headed down there. As you know, it's been raining like crazy. So upon looking at the Friends of Swatera, the Trail Crew's uh, Facebook page, they suggested to please stay off the trail since they are wet and muddy. And they had posted a gravel loop that they recommended down there. It was about an 18 mile loop. So the loop itself was a figure eight and I added two extra circles on each end of the eights uh, to get us up to just about 25 miles we were on for the day and got an extra climb in there and a few other gravel roads. Uh, so it was a good loop, lots of nice scenery down there and the weather was perfect. Uh, we actually had sunshine, um, which was unbelievable. We haven't actually had like a sunny and blue skies um, the whole ride. So that was pretty nice and um, unusual for most of the videos, especially this last half of the year here. Uh, but here's some clips from that. Enjoy. Like the gear and get to the car. We'll need some maps. We're traveling far. Some new trails of gravel renown. This is P Town out of town. We always go to the King of McDonald's. We're going high class to Dunkin' today. Donut ride! How do you feel about switching it up, Gare? Well, we'll see what they got to offer. I know they're expensive. No coupons. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin'. I get some donuts. I need some <laughs> sugar. Just bought fifteen dollars <laughs> worth of drinks and food from Dunkin'. <laughs> Duncan expensive. I hope it's good. Told you it was expensive. <laughs> I did get two sandwiches though. Yeah. They're still working on Stein's order. <laughs> Apparently he ordered 18 things. Betty ordered two. And he made Betty pay. <laughs> With her stripper money. <laughs> you should have saw this girl flashing wounds. <laughs> this is caramel chocolate donut from Dunkin' Donuts. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, man. So we met up, left P Town around nine, and made our way down to Swatera. Conditions were great today, sunny, high in the high 40s, and as stated at the beginning, haven't seen sun like this with the blue skies in quite a long time.
So we started off the loop connecting from the mountain bike parking spot down to the rail trail and then made our way across the bridge for the first time and would repeat this again later. So this was the first of two climbs of the day and as you can see here on the right hand side the favorite sign of all gravel cyclists for no winter maintenance. But at the end of every uphill is a good downhill. And then we finished the first added circle and came back on to the Suatera Rail Trail. Then we crossed the rail trail slash Appalachian Trail Bridge for the second time but made a left on this sequence and went up Bear Hole Road which was reminiscent of Monster Cross.
CWP. So this would be the upper end of the figure eight. We crossed over Swatera Creek, but then we made a right and continued up the unimproved section of the Swatera Rail Trail to finish off the second little additional circle before we came back down to the same rail trail. Had to turn up Maynard's Lane, and then uh, once we got there, realized why it was closed. Uh, the creek seemed to have washed it out pretty good, but was still okay to walk across with the stones in place. So we carried the bikes across and then ventured on. Finished off the second circle and then back to the Swatera Rail Trail.
then on the way back found this bridge across sand siding road so had to check this out it traverses Swatera Creek again but man this bridge was neat it had three different sections on it but one complete bridge So finished up the ride, coming down Old State Park Lane again, and then made our way into Hershey after a stop at Funk's Restaurant for some food. Ended up at Trogues for the staple beer of the trip, Nugget Nectar. Good ride, good trip. We mentioned how similar some of the sections were to um, what you will see on the Monster Cross race uh, that's coming up in February. So we'll definitely probably head back down there one more time uh, to ride a similar version of that gravel loop that we did, uh, but keying in on the few roads that were just like Monster Cross to get in an extra practice session for that. But thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. This is the P Town Weekend, the weekend review.